Hi everyone, um, it's Ashley. So today we're gonna read a very popular book by Dr. Seuss called Oh, The Places You'll Go. Um, it's a little bit of a longer book, but it's a very important book. And I thought we would read this one today because um, a lot of people out there are in the time where they are graduating. Uh, maybe they're moving on from high school. Maybe they are moving on from middle school, elementary school. Uh, maybe it's not even school at all. Maybe they're just moving on from um, something that um, was important and they're just making a transition. So um, if that's you, even if that's not you, this is just a fun book. It talks about being successful, just giving it your all and trying your best and um, taking that next step forward. So this is a fun book by Dr. Seuss called Oh, the Places You'll Go. So we're going to read it. And the book is a little, little bit old, but um, I will do my best. It says, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. I'm going to move it a little bit so you guys can see. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, you'll look them over with care. About some you'll, you'll say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. Look at all these bright pictures. These are awesome places. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. So Dr. Seuss is talking about doing great things. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. That bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can't get all hung up in a pickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're not on top. You have to get back up and try again. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You'll have to figure out how to get up again. You'll, you will come to a plane where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly are dark. A place you could strain, sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not. I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. Hmm. You got all these choices you can make. How to get back up again. What to do. You can get so confused that you'll start in, a, in to race down that long wiggled roads at a breaking necking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or no, or waiting for their hair to grow, everyone is waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil or a better break or sitting on pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. 
And can you guys see they're just waiting around doing nothing? Hmm. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. Hmm. So you're gonna go find awesome things happening. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of a guy. Hmm. So you're gonna get out and go find awesome things to do. Oh, the perhaps, I'm sorry, oh, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winning or win, the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Ooh, that's nice. Look at this. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. That happens too. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and you that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go through the weather, though the weather be foul, on you will go, though your enemies prowl, on you will go, though the hanking cracks howl, onward up many, many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. So you're going to keep going on, keep marching on, even if it's hard or difficult. On and on you will hike. So you're going to keep going. And I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course. As you already know, you'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step up care, step with care and great tact, great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. And you will move mountains. So here is you succeeding and doing great things. So be your name, Box Bomb or Bixby or Bray or Mer Dossie, Ali Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. There you go. That's the end. All right, so remember, oh, the places you'll go. So you're going to do great things. Everyone can do great things, even if it's hard. So just try your best and always give it your best. And, um, yep, I'll talk to you guys later. This is a great book.